Okay, this is Railroader Cabal. We're going to be in Command and Conquer Remaster Tiberian Dawn to do one versus one video commentary on the map Tiberian Gardens. They kind of stole this map from uh, Command and Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath because it's it looks exactly like Tiberian Gardens number four from Kane's Wrath. Anyway, we got two players. We got T and we got bots. So three, two, one, go! And we're going to... Let's go. So up here... Oh, no. We see bots in a very, very... Uh, weird location here. He's playing as the blue nod, and then to his uh, right here we see playing as the yellow GDI forces. We got T. So looks like um, both these players are going to go see where each other is. Um, obviously, both players are going to try to base creep to get their refineries as close as possible to the Tiberium. The uh, medium tank here from T is just going to go straight down the south. Meanwhile, Bolt is going the correct way with his uh, mini gunner. He's building more mini gunners from his hand of nod just to see if he can find out the location of T. Both players have their refineries up. T is a little bit faster than placing his refinery than uh, Bolt's or Bot's because Bot's actually went for um, a hand of nod first and he was able to squish that uh, mini gunner as well, which is very, very good. The harvesters are going to be harvesting both Tiberium. The uh, mini gunner here from Bot's is going to be going straight into the base of T, which Sorry, which T has a barracks of his own. He's going to be pumping out some uh, grenadiers as well and throwing them in between him and will be take out the minigunner as well. The rocket infantry now coming up from bots. Looks like he just is intent on just destroying that harvester. He might as well because if that harvester is out of position, then uh, you can so much destroy it relatively quickly, crippling him early in the game. And that's exactly what bots is doing. Might as well pump out a bunch of rocket squads. He's bringing in his uh, light tanks as well just to take the brunt of the fire. Hopefully take out that medium tank while it's out of position. Although he's out of position more. That um, harvester from uh, T is just going to go straight and collect more Tiberium. I think the harvester here from uh, Boss is pretty safe. I would, I would think so. He also drops down an airstrip as well to um, help get more uh, forces on the map here. It looks like Boss is bringing in his infantry forces. Trying to, have to focus that medium tank and he might as well do so because he is going to be losing his own light tank which kind of sucks. And then another plane coming. It looks like it could possibly be it's a, it's a recon bike. So recon bike's coming in. Although those, all those infantry forces just got squashed there by that one light tank. That's not good. And T is in a little bit of a troll now because he placed it out on the second refinery while Boss has placed it on an airstrip. And he's just streaming in some recon bikes. And these recon bikes are just going to be doing a lot of harvester harassment. He was obviously mining from that uh, blossom tree, which you think those blossom trees actually turn into Tiberium, which which they actually do. I thought they did anyway. But it looks like they didn't. More planes are coming in, dropping more recon bikes, and these recon bikes are doing pretty good. Although he's he should be attacking the harvesters from uh, from T, because all he has is just a light tank trying to squish the uh, Grenadier squads, but uh, T is doing a fantastic job of microing his infantry forces around and not being able to crush, and he's going to be leading that uh, tank there on the Tiberium, and he's going to be turning his attention to this recon bike, which he's going to be streaming in some more Nod buggies as well. So the Nod buggies will take out the infantry forces while the recon bikes hopefully do a little bit of damage from far, and he's going to be microing as best he possibly can. Hopefully that light tank will be coming in to do a little bit of uh, damage and to squish all the infantry forces. And speaking of which, all those infantry forces just got squashed there and um, a lot of them taken out by those Raider buggies. Now uh, Bots is doing a fantastic job. He's going to be uh, hopefully blocking that uh, Harvester. Fantastic job by blocking the Harvester. He's going to be doing a lot of damage with those Recon Bikes and hopefully taking them out. He was able to uh, blow one of his own Recon Bikes up, which does suck. And a Guard Tower here coming out from T. So not really ideal to be placing down a Guard Tower if you're this desperate and protecting your Harvesters. If anything, you should be getting more... Uh, Infantry forces. Instead, instead of building grenadiers, you should be building some uh, some rocket soldiers at least. But he does have his weapons factory, so that hopefully can be building some medium tanks. But I'm not sure how much money he's he's gonna be able to get now because um, both players are relatively low on cash. More so uh, T because he's not unable to harvest Tiberium, which bots is though he's he base creeped with a couple of sand with the old school tactic. Placing down some sand uh, barricades and then base creeping with his refinery to get a lot more uh, uh, mining operations going. But uh, this is not looking good for T. He's going to have to get something going here. He has to go into the uh, Tiberium to get some more Tiberium. But in doing so, he's going to be low on uh, units. And he's just intent on building Grenadier squads. You should be building some rocket infantry. 
At least I think that uh, GDI builds rocket infantry in multiplayer. They can in, in a single player, but more st kept streaming in some more uh, infantry forces. I was able to sell off his MCV because I don't think he needs it anymore. We're getting in an engineer, but uh, one harvester is uh, very heavily damaged. One is okay now, but the streaming in of those Grenadier squads is not what you need against this uh, kind of attack here from uh, from bots. He's doing a fantastic job of just uh, destroying these harvesters. But, well, he, he hasn't destroyed a harvester. He's just doing a lot of damage. And one harvester will go down. And Boss has a lot of money right now. He's at $2,300. So he's doing very, very well. And T, meanwhile, looks like he might just uh, quit the game right now because I don't think he can survive off this. And like, that is the game. The game has been completed. And uh, T has been defeated. So let's check out the stats here. I guess sometimes the stats don't uh, matter. But anyway, so there's your game on uh, Tape Urban Gardens. My name is Cabal, and I'll see you guys next time.